Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. Today we'll be talking about how exactly we can import STL file and do our simulation with Comsol. We have already uploaded a video on this particular topic. I'll be putting the link in the description box so that you can have a look in that particular video. I have received many comments like when we import STL file then it it becomes a rigid file and we can't choose particular geometry particular option to carry out our simulation so mostly if the STL file is made appropriately we don't feel such problems I'll be giving you an example where an STL file will be imported and we'll be doing simulation we can choose our boundary conditions at particular phases wherein we need our boundary condition. Before we move on to the main discussion, I would like to announce that we are providing service where we can actually do your console and CAD geometry. So if you are trying to do a particular simulation that involves a complicated CAD geometry, you can write to us. I'll be putting the email ID in the description box and we'll be contacting you for your particular simulation or particular CAD file. So let us proceed with today's discussion which is importing STL file and carry out simulation. So for that we will be choosing the 3D geometry because we have a 3D STL file. And I will be working with heat transfer in solid just for the sake of understanding I will be taking heat transfer in solid and we will be using the STL geometry and doing uh, we will be doing a heat transfer problem. So for that we choose the heat transfer option and we click on add so heat transfer will be added as you already know. Then in the study option we can do a stationary that means time independent study or steady state simulation. So for that we will be putting this stationary option in the study. It's taking some time. Yeah. So now you can see uh, the geometry option we need to create our geometry and in the physics option we have taken heat transfer and in the study we have the stationary study option. So now I go to uh, geometry option if I right click on geometry option we will be getting the import sub option so if I click on import so you can see there will be an option in the setting window wherein you can choose your file the file format can be different importable files like it could be a cat file it could be a console file or it could be some extension like stl or 3mf so herein we'll be using the stl file so we can choose any one either the option any importable file or this mesh option with stl but i did not create any mesh for this particular geometry so i'll be working with any importable file now i click on the option browsing the file so say so this is a file I have downloaded from a website so I'll be putting the link of that particular website you can also download that particular STL file and do your simulation so this is a fire brick basically so I'm importing it after you import you have to click here the build selected option so once you do that you can see this particular geometry has been imported so the idea is we did not create this geometry with console options because coms console itself has some geometry options but in this case we are not exploiting that particular option rather we are importing a file which has been created in a different CAD software. So the idea is when you are doing your simulation that involves a complicated geometry like if you are working with a, say a problem where you need a particular filtration unit and that particular filtration unit may have some three dimensional structure. So that geometry making it in console might be difficult and people also prefer to do the CAT file in some professional CAT software. Sometimes you, are, you may be working with some other clients and they have a particular CAT file. They have shared the CAT file with you and it will be easier for you if you can import that particular CAT file in your simulation geometry, simulation software and then carry out your simulation. So now I go to, so here you can see when I, whenever I'm hovering through this particular geometry, it, it seems like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a unit where 
the parts are not separated because whenever you touch anywhere you can see the entire geometry has been chosen but this would be not the option when we will be playing with our physics that means I need to put some temperature boundary condition at certain wall then I will be able to do that so shortly I will be showing that so you can choose the dimension that means millimeter I, I want to carry on with so I can change the option from meter which is the default option to the millimeter option and then again you can click on the build geometry option and you can see if you, even if you don't click it will be choosing the millimeter option now I need a material so for the sake of this particular simulation I can go ahead with a simple copper material so I write copper and click enter so it will look for the copper from the material library so comsol has a material library where multiple materials have been stored materials means the properties are defined separately so we'll be choosing the copper option so any of the copper option i can choose because this is for the learning purpose only so the copper option has been chosen now I go to the heat transfer in solids option if I right click here then I can have the option of boundary conditions like I'll be preferring here to do with the temperature boundary condition suppose I choose temperature of the this particular wall say I keep it at a certain high temperature say 500 Kelvin and maybe I can choose another boundary condition suppose the other wall is kept at say certain 300 Kelvin temperature so rest of the walls are thermally insulated and this is a solid and the material properties are being taken from the material live material which we have chosen so most of the boundary conditions and the equations are set I'll just show you the equation this is simple conductivity conduct heat conduction equation so this is steady state that's why we don't have the time dependent term so this part is basically the convective part but here we don't have any fluid flow so the u is zero so this part is basically zero so we have this Fourier heat transfer part that is a conductive heat transport this part actually indicates the conductive heat transport we don't have any source or other option so all other parts in the right hand side is zero so basically we are solving this particular equation wherein divergence of q is equated with null vector that is a zero now i go to mesh i click on build all so i will go for the default meshing so this default meshing is fine for the learning purpose so i just go ahead with this meshing and then I go to study I click on the option compute I hope if everything is fine it should run so yeah it will take some time because it's a 3d simulation but we have only heat transfer physics that's why it's not too long so yeah the simulation is done you can see we have chosen an STL file but still we we are able to define our boundary conditions at specific walls we could able to do a meshing and ultimately we could able to solve particular differential equations which are governing the particular physical problem for this particular case we solve for heat transfer in solid and that is why it was a conductive heat conduction equation and after the solution we could actually get the temperature profile you can see in the entire 3d space we solve for the temperature profile if you click anywhere you will be seeing the temperature distribution so i can click at different places and i can record the temperature value here and you can also do post processing based on your requirement so in this particular video i talk about the importing STL file but still I took a very simple geometry it is not a complicated geometry in the upcoming videos we will be doing simulations with some complicated geometries 
and some real life problems so that you can understand what is the utility of doing console simulations with STL geometry. So we will be taking examples of microwave heating, we will be taking examples of filtration units wherein we will have appropriate geometry. So today I stop here, if you are, uh, if you are willing to take our service, we will be, we'll be able to help you with your CAD designing, with your console simulation. So write to us in the email ID given in the description box. I will come back with another video shortly. Thank you.